The work that we do is incredibly experiential. In other words, we don't just sit in a laboratory all day doing this stuff. We get to go to the space centers. We've been to almost every space center that there is uh, in the world. We get to work with astronauts. We get to work with pilots. We get to take plants, lowly plants, that you would never think would know that they were in a rocket ship or a jet airplane. And we put them there and we understand that, yeah, plants do know that they are riding in a jet plane. They know when they're in orbit. The reason that we know that they know is that we study their gene expression patterns and their metabolisms are recorded there just like they are in any other book. So we get to do things, unique things with plants, and we get to do them in unique places. We've been to the Arctic, we've been weightless, we've been in jet aircraft, and we've interacted with some really incredible people along the way. What kind of responses does an organism, any organism, mount when you put it in an environment that is totally outside its evolutionary experience? When you think about it, none of us, none of us terrestrial organisms, including plants, has evolved in a situation where they've ever been exposed to a microgravity environment. It's easy when you are exposed to something that you know, even if you yourself has an experience, if you as an organism has seen it somewhere in your evolution. If you're cold, as a human, you put on a sweater. If you're cold in a plant, you turn on a whole bunch of genes that deal with um, you know, cold response. But all of a sudden, you're in an environment that you have no idea what to do with. What kind of metabolic response do you pull out of your toolbox to throw at this, you know, you don't know. And so we're really interested in that from a very fundamental scientific point of view is how do plants work? How do they do that when they're, when they're challenged with something that they have no idea what to do with? There's a few ways in which the work we do, I think, truly impacts society. The first and very practical one is that plants, just like here on Earth, ultimately will be the source of food, water, and air when we live on Mars, we have to take our ecosystems and our agriculture with us. There's no way we're going to live there long term without that. To my mind also, there's a deeper thing, and that is, how would your life, how would your thoughts, how would your thinking be if you knew that things that are normally considered Earth-bound life forms could live on Mars? How would you think differently? if there were plants growing on the moon. I think you would think that life has very, very, very strong ways of living in various places. And you'd no longer think we were limited to being on the surface of the Earth.